Oh yeah. That looks good, dude. We are in business. What is up, y'all? It is a beautiful day out here. It's supposed to storm a little bit later, but we are doing some pond hopping in Florida. And this is a place I literally just found on Google Maps and I did not know how to get here, but there was a hole in the fence. And this is what we got behind us. This looks pretty good. So this is gonna be the first spot we are fishing today. And uh, we have something with us that we are gonna be fishing with. If you already read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what's going on. So I think it was like two years ago at this point, which is crazy. We got an Amazon kit for fishing on Amazon. It was not just any fishing kit though. It was the most expensive fishing kit on Amazon. It actually had a lot of stuff in it. It was a really fun video. But as I said, it's been two whole years. So I figured, why don't we go back onto Amazon? Let's see what the most expensive fishing kit is nowadays. We bought it, now we're gonna be doing some pond hopping and hopefully catching some big old fish with it. Now before we even start, this is interesting. It's definitely not the cleanest pond. It's kind of like bluish green. And I, I, we gotta be careful of gators and snakes and stuff, but what the heck is this, dude? There's a stick and I don't wanna touch it. Do you see how big that hook is? Is there like a gator in here or something? People are fishing, what is this? We're just gonna act like we didn't see that. All right, y'all ready for this? Here is the most expensive fishing kit I found personally on Amazon in 2022. All right, so as I said, it's been two years since we've done the most expensive fishing kit on Amazon. I don't know if it's the same brand or not, but since it's been two years, you know, it should be two years better than whatever we got last time, right? So we're just gonna, boom, very visually appealing. Look at that, man, double decker. Starting out, let's just take a peep at what everything is in here. So we got some grubs, it's actually pretty lifelike, realistic looking. We got some tiny little worms. We have some uh, little tiny swim baits. Multitude of colors, look like some Skittles. And then what the heck are these? We have two colors of these things. This is like a derby looking, was it little shrimp? Maybe like a grass shrimp imitation or something? All right, let's go down to the lower level. So we got a frog. Ooh, we got two things, three things. Little split shots like that. This is actually, dude, this has got a lot of stuff. We have jig heads, drop shot weights, and we have bullet weights. Honestly, just right off the bat, this might almost be the best fishing kid as far as bass. This is bass, right? Yeah, bass. Was that a pike on there? It's got a trout and a crappie. It's kind of similar to all the other fishing kits from Amazon, like China off-brand hard bait stuff. So we got crank bait, jerk bait. It's like a lipless crank, topwater walking bait, and topwater popper. And then, oh, dude, wait a second. Yo, this is actually, what the heck? So we've got spoons. Dude, these are like tube jig heads now. Beads, swivels, snaps, <laughs> freaking hooks. Oh my gosh, inline spinner. I'm actually kind of like legit, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> they have another inline spinner down there. Dude, look at this thing of hooks it comes with. What the heck? For 30, I think this was $35. Cast mastered look at things too. More hooks. We have like little tubes. Now, I don't know. We're going to be testing to see how quality this stuff is. This would be good on a drop shot. And then, of course, especially essential for Florida, right? We have some little Sanko dudes. Those are kind of tiny. I just destroyed this thing. But that, oh my gosh, that's actually a lot of stuff. Where do we begin? I mean, Florida, you can't go wrong with stuff like this, right? So we caught the PB on. If you guys haven't seen the personal best bass video, I'll link it on the screen right here. It's, dude, I, I maybe we can beat it today, but I don't know about that. Guess we'll put this dude on this. It's not really any good hooks per se for Sanka. We might have to wacky rig it. And yeah, here's the other spinner. Dude, what is going on? We're gonna be trying a bunch of different stuff out. Hopefully we can cast this. So let me, before we even get into this, we are introducing a new setup on the channel. So we figured, right? We're fishing with the most expensive fishing kit on Amazon. Why not use, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is my most expensive fishing combo. This thing is freaking pricey, but it is absolutely gorgeous. This is a Lose Pro TI reel and a Lose Pro TI rod. And it just, oh my gosh. This is a 610 medium heavy. Just spooled it out with some 17 pound fluoro and it is ready to go. I've not taken a cast with this thing yet. It is just like, can, can you see the beauty? I feel like I'm not worthy. A lot of y'all probably like, oh dude, he's the budget guy, he's selling out. We'll see if it's worth the buddy here. Uh, put a link to 
product down in the description below. I don't know why they give you such small little hooks. And hey, again too, uh, this is literally just a place I found on the internet. I do not know if there are fish in here or if there are fish in here, what kind of fish are in here or if there are freaking gators in here. Lots of mysteries. All right, let's start off with this. Let's try wacky. Set these brakes real quick. All right, y'all, first cast. Oh, I gotta set that better. I don't get many new bait casters, so when I do, I uh, gotta make sure the brakes are. Never said I was a professional bait caster, fisherman, or fisherman in general. One thing I will say, just from feeling it in that first cast, like this is a very nice light rod. It has some backbone to it, but I feel like it's gonna be very sensitive if I need it to be. All right, let's try to get a better cast here. There she blows. All right, so wacky rig, just kind of make it do a, whoa, big freaking, dude, that looks like a shark in the sky. Is that an osprey? I don't trust this pond as far as gators go. I really don't. It's like blue green, but it's kind of murky. -ish. Keep an eye out for me, would y'all? See, if we were in South Florida right now, there'd probably be some freaking peacocks in here. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm a dude from Delaware, and we are in North Florida right now. So, if any guys have any like North Florida fishing tips or any bass fishing tips or just anything, you know, trying to become the Bassmaster Classic champion. All right, I want to cover some more water here. This is taking a little bit too long. I think. Let's try out uh, soft plastic swim bait. Let's go with the white or clear. I will say though, being in that box, I think they're kind of like crooked a little bit. Boom, all right, there we go. Let's see how she looks. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. You never freaking know around here. I like this though, we can cover more water for sure. Let me know, if you guys were here, what would you be throwing? I will say right off the bat, I don't see much movement. I saw some turtles. I don't really see any beds. They're like old beds or bait jumping or, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll fish it. Fish it hard, we're gonna beat this thing up. That's like one of the cool things just about exploring, you know? Just never know. I am not even gonna show y'all. I just backlashed the sole out of this reel. I went to cast and I, for some reason, my I just hit the lure on the grass. It took me like five minutes to get out. Hey man, it happens. Oh my gosh, this is Animal Planet. I'm reporting live. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at them. Do y'all see the little babies? Three, six, seven, that is cool. They're so fuzzy. <laughs> we pretty much just circumnavigated the whole thing. Uh, not really, uh, I didn't even see. It. Usually, you know, when you walk alongside these kind of ponds, like, especially in Florida, you might see like a tiny little bass or two just around the surface, or maybe you'll see a bass swimming somewhere. All I've seen are tiny little, they were probably mosquito fish, tiny, tiny little fish. And I think people stock to just prevent mosquitoes. Like I think those, fish eat mosquitoes well back to the drawing board there's a lot of ponds around here just don't know which ones we could fish which ones have to fish but we're gonna find it okay so we drove a good ways let's check this out this is like a pond over here this looks a little bit better if we're allowed to fish it I don't think this is it, Chief. Uh, I feel like we're running out of time with the storm coming. I really want to find a pond that has some fish. At least the fish always feed pretty good before the storm. It's a low pressure system moving in. That was cool. A giant turtle just like 
slammed his neck out the that's cool at least there's turtles so we've been fishing stuff that it looks good but we get there and it's not good so on match this didn't exactly look good so maybe it'll be the opposite this is kind of what we're working with it's stinky a lot of trash in this water There, it, it looks like they're going to be fishing it. All right. So, we have transferred this into a bike mission. Bike's a little bit easier when pond hopping just because you don't got to park a truck somewhere and you can kind of sneak into certain areas. So we're heading out on the electric bike to somewhere that, uh, I mean, listen, when you fish, uh, what do we go to? I think maybe like seven ponds. And don't get me wrong, that comes with exploring and finding new spots is just finding spots that aren't very good. So right now we're about to head out to a spot that, uh, <laughs> It, it's kind of decent-ish. Oh, it's windy. Okay. So we're going to try to be super stealthy here. Let's throw a cast this way. I just want to catch a fish. So I found this pond. If you guys haven't seen the video, this pond is pretty freaking sick. We know that there are gar in here. Big gold gar. As well as that is a backlash and a half. Giant tilapia, you guys see that right there? So there's big gar, big tilapia, and big bass. I caught my personal best out of here. That was freaking insane. Hopefully with this kit, we can catch something really cool. Fish in this pond and just the ponds like this, you know, or you don't, you don't know any hit. Any bite could be a freaking massive something. What the? That was the smallest bass I've ever freaking caught in a while. Thing came off. All right, that's not what we're after. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, I think there's some. This must be the nursery right here. Again, little little, little tap taps. For as long as I can, I'm gonna freaking fish the heck out of this thing today. All right, so this is pretty interesting here. It's kind of like a mini Sanko with the bullet weight. And we have this small hook on there. We'll see what the heck looks like real quick. Hmm, not terrible. I think that these big fish though, they're just kind of waiting for something more like this. Just a little bit more slower moving, maybe get it right into their face. Not as aggressive as those tiny. I mean, we got two bites on the other bay. It's just like you know, a tiny freaking. Especially at this pond, we want to we want to birth them, man. Guarantee, there's got to be one bigger than my PB in here.
There's one. Oh, dude. Um, that's a good fish. Really good fish on the Amazon crab. Please, please, the hook. Please, 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 please. Come on, please stop doing that. That's a really good fish. Oh, yes. Yes. Look how weird that hook is in its mouth. All right, yeah, we got to go low. We got to go slow. Please don't jump. All right, she's still working. Y'all ready for this? First fish of the day. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, settle. Four pound fish. 4.25 first of the day. Oh, yeah. All right, let me give you guys a good freaking look at that. Oh, good fish. Dude, it looks like almost she got, there's an osprey that I've seen kind of, dude, that's a thick belly. Dude, it looked like you got attacked by the osprey and you, you live to tell a story. Oh, man. Let's make sure she's good. That is a freaking awesome feeling right there, man. Oh, yeah, freaking sweet, man. Oh, there she goes. Oh, if you guys are not already, please make sure to go down there. Hit that thumbs up button. Try to be quiet again. We're in the neighborhood. Gotta remember that, dude. This actually worked. I was very surprised. That weird freaking hook. Last time we did this challenge with a different kit, it, it had the similar kind of hooks, and we, we just, just the hooks were messing up. Let's put a new worm on here. This one's kind of toast. Whew. That'll get your blood pumping. Again, these hooks are just very interesting. That's why you put the time in, you know, explore fish different ponds that may or may not have fish in them because maybe you'll find a pond like this that's exactly how we found this pond not too long ago and again i've only fished here twice i mean this is my third time ever fishing here first time here caught my pb second time used giant swim baits and i caught a big freaking gar this is a nice pond i mean it comes with a lot of stuff i mean you get split shots that's what i'm talking about man this freaking hook that's a fish that's not a big one how the heck is this guy hooked oh geez oh yep a oh, little one pounder so <laughs> a lot of you guys get mad when I do this it's technically cheating on the challenge we're taking a little we're on a side mission right now I just had to stop with the hooks and I have too much faith in this Texas Streak Sanko. And just, dude, if you're at a place where you caught your PB, don't you want to try to just see if you throw something like this, what could be caught? <sighs> Cannot go wrong with the OG. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wait, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. That is a surprise catch. What the heck? Bro, that is not what I expected. This is crazy. How does one pond have so much variety? A lot of the bass guys I know that are like bass fishermen, bass fishermen. Hello? Okay, there we go. Hate these fish right here. A lot of people mistake these for snakehead. Kind of looks like a snakehead. It's not a snakehead, right? No, yeah, no. You can tell by the head. Look at that, man. That is crazy looking. That is a bowfin, I believe. Look at those teeth. <sighs> yeah. Did not expect that. <laughs> Jeez. Aggressive feisty oh dude this bass is back over there it literally keeps going into the shallows over there what is even what is even this place dude every time i come here i catch something new see you can't fault me for putting a good old sanko on literally i i it was at the bottom and i, I was just raising it to let it do a refall and that dude just smoked it on the way up i think she sees me is she gonna eat that 
Is she gonna eat that in this tiny little... Oh, dude, there's that big fish right there. These fish are spookish. I got him. Oh, yes. 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 Giant. Giant, 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 giant. Giant. Giant, giant, giant. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. Is this the same fish or is this a new PB or what is going on here? <sighs> Hooked back far but not too far back. Oh my gosh. This is a freaking massive fish. Dude, could be this be the same freaking... Right, let's get the hook out real quick. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, is that a new personal best bass? What was it the other day? Six... Point five seven. Okay, zero it out. Wow, not as big as I thought. Five, four, eight. Let's try it one more time. Four and a five. That is insane. All right, let me get the hook out. All right, there we go. It wasn't deep or anything. It was just like lodged interestingly. Oh my gosh, dude! Freaking massive bass. That's a big mama. That's Big Bertha herself. Now again, for Florida, is that like a giant giant? Probably not. I think what is like a, the, what do they call it here? Like a master class size bass is like eight pounds, which that is freaking, that is just insane. What's even more insane is if it would have been the same fish as last time. One more look here. That is a freaking giant, massive bass. Okay. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, buddy. Good to go. Mm. I wonder, was that the one that kept coming up and stuff? I don't know. I am just lost for words right now. I gotta take a breath. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs>